What's going on guys, my name's Hypnostic and welcome to a brand new MWZ video. In this one we'll be heading over to the new Season 5 Reloaded Elder Dark Aether without any wonder weapons. Now I will say, if you plan on completing all three contracts, you're gonna need a Scorcher, but if you don't have one available, then you can always use this strategy here. Our weapon of choice will be the Reclaimer 18. Now before we take a look at the build I'm using for it, I just quickly want to thank the sponsor of today's video. Are you looking to unlock MW3 camos like Inter Stellar and Borealis completely legit or Wars and Rewards including the Royal Helix and Decipher camos as well as the Nuke skin? Want to grab the best schematics, spot lobbies, or even instant delivery accounts? Look no further than Mitch Cactus. As the biggest most reliable seller out there, they offer a bunch of legitimate services for Xbox, PlayStation, and PC. Buy now with code HYPNO at checkout for 5% off. So the build we're using for the Reclaimer 18 is as follows. We're using the Hinge LAF Light Stock for increased strafe speed and movement speed, the Kaimura RYL33 Laser Light for increased strafe speed, sprint to fire speed, and ADS speed, the Discourager 900 Heavy Barrel for increased tube ammo capacity and effective damage range, the XRK Edge BW4 Handstop for increased strafe speed, movement speed, ADS speed, and sprint to fire speed, and last but not least, we're using 12 gauge slug ammunition. Now that we covered the build I'm using for the Reclaimer 18, I'd say it's time we head over to the tier 3 zone and start setting up, so I'll see you all there. Alright boys, we made it to the tier 3 zone as you can see we have the spaz 12 here with us this thing is a one tap in the tier 3 zone and in the elder dark ether possibly the best gun in zombies to use right now especially with the uh update right around the corner you know a little little conversion kit being added which i'm pretty sure is going to be the akimbo spaz 12 definitely looking forward to testing that thing out but uh yeah let's get a few contracts done here we got this little outlast all the other contracts got taken already because the tier 3 is pretty full at the moment. So yeah, let's start uh, doing a few contracts, get some essence, and gear up for the Elder Dark Aether. Ooh, look at that. Free selfie in that box. Hell yeah. Bro, I swear this reclaimer is just different. I mean, one tapping zombies just feels amazing. <laughs> oh, stamina up right there. We already had that. Yeah, we're going to need some perks as well. Uh, let's let him into the squad. There we go. You get some essence too, sir. Never mind. He backed out instantly. Okay, never mind. He back. He back, boys. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> oh, God. Bro, we just three tapped a mangler. There's no way. <laughs> this thing would actually take out megas within a few seconds, bro. <laughs> what? Let's go. Almost done with the contract. Unfortunately, there's not too much action here. But uh, yeah, you guys still see this gun definitely one taps. Solid build. If you guys need something that you can melt zombies with and HVTs, use this thing. All right, almost done with the contract. Let's actually drop a Kazi and stow it just so we have extras since we have the grenade bandolier. All right, teammate went down here. Let's just quickly get that revive going. There we go. I got you, sir. Get back up. Get rid of that hellhound. All right. Let's see what's in this reward rift for us. And, uh, you know, I'll take Shatter Blast and Elemental Pop. Why not? Bro. There's no way. Well, let's pick this guy up and then we'll deal with this disciple. Let's get that reload. Holy, bro. One shot did all that damage to him? Jeez. All right, on to the next contract, boys. There's a little bounty on the other side. Not sure if we'll make it over there in time, but yeah, worth a try. Bro, this bad boy's got some range to it as well, doesn't it? Let's go. Quickly stop the Alper Cacino machine and, you know, we'll grab PhD Flopper and Tombstone in case things go south. You never know. <laughs> no way that guy just beat us to the bounty, bro. I swear. Going around on foot is super annoying. Alright, let's do a little sport control. Never mind. The teammate just went down and he's up there with all these zombies on him. Let's quickly fight our way through and get that revive going. There we go. Get up, brother. There we go. We got. Him. Let's actually see if we can join this guy's. Never mind, he's scorching way up there. Bro, <laughs> hold on. Let's go revive the teammate again. <laughs> Dude, what is this right now? Turning into a damn challenge video here in the tier three. And teammate just went down again. Hold on. Let's quickly go pick him up. Brother. Brother, brother. All right. There we go. Let's drop them inhibitors down. 
should be able to destroy the spore with one shot. There we go. All right, boys, we ended up burning ourselves as just trying to pick that guy up twice. So, uh, yeah, I think once we're done with this contract, I'm probably going to go ahead and leave squad just so we can actually gear up properly here. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, there we go. Let's get rid of these last few spores. And that's exactly what I'm talking about, boys. That is exactly what I'm talking about. Jeez. Bro, this is the last time you're getting picked up, dog. You gotta, you gotta start fighting here. You gotta start fighting, brother. Need your help. Bro, what you throwing thermites at? Like, okay, okay, I'm, no, we're not gonna be mean. A little pack two skis in there. Might actually take that. Oh my god, boys. You've gotta be kidding me. Oh. Bro, we almost went down trying to pick him up again. No, okay, that's that's that. Sorry, bro. All right, boys, so we have three self-revives in total right now, and there's no contracts up, and we don't have enough essence for some more. So, uh, yeah, we're definitely going to have to do one or two more contracts. You know, if, if all that wouldn't have happened at the start, then we'd probably be set up by now, but, you know, it's all good. It happens. Boys, I think the tier three is broken. There's still no contracts, bro. It's been, like two or three minutes or something never mind contract spawned and let's go for the outlast and there we go boys contract complete finally got some more essence here this guy actually leroy jenkins wants to join in okay just some alpercas in there whole lot of nothing um all right so we just need to hit the buy station now and grab two extra self revives and we'll be set might actually go ahead and drop an extra kazi and stow it just so grenade bandolier can do its thing and uh, yeah, I'll see you boys once and by the portal. All right, boys, we made it to the Dark Aether portal. Let's use that Elder Sigil, accept the teleport, and I'll see you all in the Elder Dark Aether. All right, boys, we made it to the Elder Dark Aether. So the first place we're going to be going is over at G2 on the map. So it's right back there. Let's quickly take these launch pads, make our way over there going to be starting things off with the Outlast contract. Now, since we don't have a Scorcher or a VR-11, it's going to be pretty much impossible to uh, finish off all three contracts. It's it's going to be hell, boys. All right, so the first contract is right here on this rooftop, actually where in the last video, there were like a hundred zombies that spawned right there, made it almost impossible to pick up the contract. So now let's just jump down here. So this is going to be in that middle room where you can do the Easter egg. I might actually make a video covering that here soon on um, how to unlock the STG44 blueprint. So just run down here and there we go. Let's get this PND activated. Now all we do is chill in this room and cook all the zombies coming our way. Easy as that. There we go. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. Underestimated it, boys, underestimated it. Let's cook this self res real quick. There we go. So, yeah, this just goes to show that you can do the Elder Dark Ether without golden plates. Like, you know, you don't need a Scorcher or anything. Now, if you don't have a Scorcher, it's going to be impossible to get all three contracts done. I'm just going to say that right now. Um, but yeah, it's definitely possible to get the first two done, being the Outlast and the Sport Control. Especially if you have a gun like the Reclaimer here. This thing absolutely cooks zombies. Let's just quickly back up here. Got the little little boskies over there. Let's see if we can actually do some work on them. Eh, did a little bit. Nothing too crazy though. Holy, hold on. Let's get some distance there. Yeah, so definitely keep your distance from that boss when he spawns in. Bro will melt you. Okay. Hold on, let's quickly get a few plates on. We're probably going to pop Ether Shroud here. Just so we can hit this in peace. Let's go. Got some decent loot in there. Got some decent loot, boys. Alright, let's just run through here quickly. Make our way outside. Very nice. Alright, so the next contract we're going to is way over yonder. Let's just run around here. Pretty sure there's a zip skis we can take. There we go. Dude, I love how slow zips are in this. <laughs> like, if you compare the zip speed in this to, uh, like, the zips over in Research, it's actually wild. Alright. Let's take this zip. Or this launch pad, rather. 
All right, and the next contract is right over there on the crane. Let's take this and open up our parachute. Just pull right a bit. There we go. Solid. Nice. All right, so now we're just going to parachute over to this building right here. And we're going to take that launch pad right over to where the inhibitors are. Just quickly take this launch pad as well. Oh, okay. Missed the jump, boys. Missed the jump. It's all good, though. We can, we can, nope, we cannot save this. It's all good. Let's just come around and take the zip skis again. The same zip from before, okay? <laughs> it happens, man. It happens. All right, now the really good thing about the reclaimer is it actually one taps the spores. So it's going to make this part super easy. Let's just quickly come around here. There we go. So this first spore we're going to destroy is this one right back here. Let's just quickly throw two inhibitors down. Throwing two down just makes it blow up a bit quicker. So you don't have to worry about all these zombies for too long. There we go. Oh, snap. Okay, let's burn that selfie. All good. There we go. All right, so now we're just going to run back over here and pick up an extra inhibitor. There we go. This is the only one we're going to be throwing two down on since we do not have a Scorcher. All right, let's just run over to this side here. Now the next one we're going for is this one way back there. There we go. You can not actually see them on the minimap. You do have to open up the big map to know where they're all at until you get used to the route. So and we'll just throw, we'll throw two down for this one actually. And we'll quickly equip a Casimir. Throw down the Casimir. There we go. Stow it. Pick up the two extras. There we go. All right, now we could actually, hold on. Yeah, let's take this one here. And we'll just zip right back down here. Now, the final one we'll be going for is this one up top. Just so we can get to the exfil a bit quicker. So now we'll take this launch pad. There we go. So we're going for this far one back there because the other two we can just get in one go. Or almost in one go. All right, from here we just jump over to this train. Perfect. Now we're just going to wait for this thing to get a bit closer. Nice. Jump on that. And that's going to take us right up here. There we go. And the spore is right there. Let's quickly throw down the two inhibitors, and we'll pop a Kazi right here. Didn't even need the Kazi for this one, really. Not that many Zombros spawning. So now we're going to go for that one back there. And once you're up here, just take this launch pad, take the next one here. And now this one's going to take us to the one on this island, and from there we can actually jump right back down to the one that was behind where we just came from. Alright, there we go. Now we'll take this launch pad. Beautiful. This one, and just one more. No way, we just missed that, bro. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> Gotta take the whole route again, boys. Actually, no, we can take a shortcut here. It was just a bit too crowded before. Let's take this. There we go, then just turn around and take this one here. Beautiful. Right. Perfect. And now we'll just jump off. Oop, that got close. All right. Now we should be able to actually parachute right to this island. Yes, we can. Perfect. All right. Now we just take this one here and one more launch pad. There we go. Let's just throw down two inhibitors here. Now this one does get pretty spicy, so you might want to throw a Kazi if you have one. If not, you can always like use either Shroud or something, but yeah. You should be good to go. A little pack three skis in there and a Disciple bottle. Very nice. Get rid of that Hellhound quickly. There we go. So yeah, as you can see, the Reclaimer definitely cooks in the new Dark Aether. And by the way, the x is way up there. For those of you who don't know, let's just quickly jump down here and take this launch pad. There we go. Uh, there's 
faster routes to get up there but yeah the train is gonna stop here any second there we go there's the train skis and uh yeah then you just ride the train and it'll take you all the way up there since we don't have a scorcher of course <laughs> so yeah definitely possible without a scorcher and without a br11 but doing all three contracts is gonna be next to impossible like i wouldn't even try it's i mean you could try but you know you're probably gonna run out of time so it might not be worth it but yeah definitely a easy dark ether to take care of probably the funnest one as well in my opinion now schematics are not guaranteed as you can see we didn't get any schematics this run but you know the pack three crystal two legendary tools and an extra elder sigil never hurts right so uh, yeah, thank you all for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button, comment with any suggestions for future videos, and don't forget to subscribe to share support to the channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever in the world you are, and as always, goodbye.